Hey there, this is Rugby Doc. Welcome to my coaching channel. Today we're going to do a little strategy on defending the pick and go. We're going to talk a little bit about options and then we're going to move into a, a really good ruck guard drill. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. All right, guys, what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about defending the pick and go. As you know, we're going to talk about the pick and go at the breakdown, not the pick and go at the scrum, because that's a different kind of defense. But at the breakdown, once you've been tackled and you have the ruck formed, you have options there. Definitely there's always the uh, pass the ball out to the backs or pass it to the forwards and they get ahead of steam and run. But the one option that happens a lot during a game is the pick and go, where they pick the ball up off the back of the ruck and then take off, right? So there's two things that we have to react to, not two things, there's one thing you have to react to that's most important when you're defending the pick and go, and that's the attacker's body position. Right? Is he coming at you high or is he coming at you low? Because those two things dictate what you're gonna do. Right? Now, in an ideal situation, when we're defending this, the posts and the monsters, you want them in a three-point stance, all right? or, or in a very low wrestling stance. Why do we wanna be low? What's that? Well, we want to be low because when they're coming at you, you want if you're low, you can wrap their leg. Boom. Get them down. Right? So you wrap their legs, so that's the idea. If you're standing up this high and they come at you, you're not you have to then you have to get down to get low. You're losing time. More than likely they push you back past the gain line, right? So the whole point, and Sean is really good at this. I watch him. He's probably one of the best at it because he actually does it. He gets down in a big stance. I watch his games, and boom, and he makes that tackle, and he tackles him right back here past the, behind the game line because he's low. So if we got someone coming in like Antoine, come on over here. Now this is a big guy, all right? So the odds of him coming in really low not going to happen. He's gonna, we want him to come in low if I was on his team because that's how he's going to get his yards. But So in a situation like this, we're down, you're going to come in, step towards me, we're going low, we're wrapping, we're driving, and we're pushing him through the gain line. So a tall guy like that, the whole point is, is we're wrapping around the legs and getting as low as possible and getting them back before he hits the gain line. Now if we get a, a guy who's of lesser height, a shorter guy, like Timmy, come on over here. <laughs> so now Timmy picks up the ball, and I'm behind the ruck, and as he's coming in, he comes in low. Now he's, a, he's, a, he's shorter than I am, I can't get low. So as he's coming in low, we push down. All right, it's a push, you push him down on the shoulders, right between the shoulder blades, all right? And that's the whole key, if you can get up. You gotta be able to react to what they're doing. Are they coming in high, or are they coming in low? If they're coming in high, you're mainly going for the legs, if they're coming in low, you're pushing down hard on between their shoulder blades, okay? So what we're going to do right now, what's that? Then you pick and choose. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to do what we call a ruck guard. We're going to get um, a defender in the either post position here. Someone's going to pick up the ball, and then you're going to react to where, he, where his body position. I naturally want them to go as low as possible, and then I want you to wrap and drive them into the tackle bag. Okay, we're good. Okay. All right. So let's get. Um, we got enough for. All right. Make sure you drive them back into the tackle tube. All right. So I want to remember cheek to cheek, drive to the tackle tube. Depending on their body position, do what I we just talked about. Good. Good. Nice. And then just reset on your own. How many you want? Just, just keep going. <laughs> and definitely switch sides. Switch right, switch left. Drive them to the ground. Make a good tackle, make a good rep. They're not going to get hurt. There's a tube there. It's a lot like sprawling and resting. 
Good, Gabe, to push them right down to the ground. Make sure your guys are last foot is behind the ruck. Go, uh, go high, go high. Dave, when you make that contact, you follow through with your body. You go down right with them, drive them right to the ground. Good, nice. That's it, Matt. You drive him right to the ground. Hands, hands firmly between the shoulder blades. Nice low tackle, Matt. Good. Yeah. So if you're running. Good, Matt. Follow through on your tackle, boys. Now, Matt, you got to spring off those feet and you got to stop him from getting that gain line. He just made about four inches. There you go. Good. That's behind the gain line. Exactly what we want. That's it, guys. Working hard.